Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brand for Kia, and I'm super excited to talk to you about the 2020 Kia Rio 5. Now this is the LX model, and you may think, hey, I've already seen this video, you did this video last year. This one has a big new feature, and it makes the car a lot better. It has an all-new transmission. So let's go talk about that right now. So yes, we're gonna talk about the transmission, and if you're not interested in the transmission of this car, you will be interested in the rest of this video because we do a full walk around of the video. So first of all, let's talk about what's underneath here. Well, when this car was redesigned uh, for this, uh, this style of body, it has the same engine as the previous generation, but they actually dropped the horsepower. So it was around 132, now it's around 120. That's still class leading horsepower in a small car like this. But the reason they did that is because they move where the power makes its peak power into the more drivable range. So if you rev the previous model out to the red line, you had peak power out there. Whereas in this car, the power is in a more usable spot. Well, now what they've done is given it a transmission and it transforms the car. It makes it a lot better. So the transmission is called an IVT transmission. Now you may have heard of a CVT transmission. It's the same basic thing. And if you read car reviews all the time, you're gonna hear car reviewers hate CVT transmissions. First of all, they hate them because some of them were terrible, especially the early ones. They were really, really, really bad. What we found though is when they put the um, IVT transmission into the Kia Forte, the car reviewers, who usually hate those transmissions, called the Kia Forte the best small car of in Canada. So this, the car reviewers, the people who usually hate these transmissions, they actually like this transmission. So now what we've done is taken the transmission that they like in the Forte, put it in the Rio and it makes the car better. So here's the thing, small cars like this that don't have a lot of power, they don't make good sports cars. And if you want a sports car, I wouldn't suggest this car. And the IVT transmissions, they also don't make for great sports cars. What they do do is they make really smooth driving, efficient small cars. And that's the big thing. These small cars with the small engines, they used to be kind of jerky through the gears because they'd have to really rev up and uh, shift down and stay in the power. And what an IVT transmission does is it allows the engine to stay in its power spot and give you a really smooth ride. It also does a real good job of getting real world fuel economy. So I took this car out for a loop and I'm not saying you can get this kind of mileage, but I did a loop that I usually do in other cars and it came back at 4.8 liters per 100 kilometers. Now again, that's not typical driving, but it is the best I've ever seen on any of our cars I haven't tried the near on that, the hybrid, but any of our regular uh, cars, it's the best loop I've seen of that uh, loop, best mileage I've seen. So it improves drivability and it improves mileage and it's smoother, it's an awesome transmission. So again, 120 horsepower, an IVT transmission, what it basically does is keeps things smooth in the ge gear shifts, you don't feel a whole lot of gear shifts. If you do want to manually shift the car, you have eight ratios where you can manually shift it from. The previous car had a six speed transmission. Long story short, Engine, transmission combination, perfect on this car. Let's talk about basic real stuff. You've got general styling stuff, nice little tiger nose grill through here. You've got headlights here. You can get the Rio with a little U-shaped LED headlights still and then a projector beam headlight. This is the LX model, so this is more of an entry-level car, but still got a lot of features. Through here, just some styling details. Again, nice little blue painted section through here. A lot of cars, they cheap out on the entry-level cars. They put a lot of black plastic down here and make it look cheap. This car doesn't look cheap at all. Other thing I like about this car, it's easy and simple. Easy to park, it's got not a ton of features, so you're not paying for features that you don't want. Great visibility, we're gonna talk about all that in a second. Let's head to the back and we'll start with the tr luggage space. So the last video I did on a Kia Rio, the car didn't quite look like this. It was a sedan, this is a hatchback. That video we talked about how the Rio was the top possible score or the top in its class for safety. This vehicle still maintains all those safety uh, aspects, but this one is a hatchback. So Rio 5 is a hatchback. You can also get these in a sedan, so that's the Rio, uh, regular Rio and Rio 5. Five stands for five doors, four doors, plus the hatch is a door. It's a European thing, that's what they do. Um, so if you've seen this car before, but you haven't seen this, this sort of hatch configuration, it's a really practical configuration. It's a lot like our SUVs. You've got a big, huge opening. So this panel comes out, and if you had to go to Lowe's or you had to go to Ikea and fit those big things in, you can. You just fold down the seats, take this panel out, and you can bring long, big, bulky items in here. I've taken things uh, in hatchbacks. I've taken things like dishwashers home before in hatchbacks. And uh, again, you can't do that in a sedan, but you can in a hatchback. So you lose a little bit of the length of the sedan, but you gain some height, 
and you can fold those seats down, a lot of space there, big opening. You do have some space underneath the floor here uh, to throw some stuff down there as well, but a good practical luggage space. You can fold the seats down just by reaching them from here. Um, you know, good light and it, or good length here still. And if you have uh, items that roll around, let's say you go grocery shopping, you've got a bit of a floor here. A lot of floors are level with the back here. This one is set lower down so you can have things that won't fall out as soon as you open the hatch on this. So we'll look at the rear styling. You've got sort of the lights that come into here. They get really sharp looking lights in there. Rear light up here, spoiler up there. You do have a backup camera. That's standard. That has always been standard on this level of Rio and it's standard in the class now. So it's not such a big deal anymore. But you do of course have that. If you haven't had one on your current car, you'll have it here. A little bit of black uh, design through here. Now I mentioned, like I said, the, the black plastic's cheap out. A lot of times back here, you get that sort of sportier look by putting the black plastic down. And I think that's how it looks in real life. Again, a camera, I'm not sure how it looks, but it has a nice design sport look to it. You'll notice a lot of sports cars have what they call a diffuser back here. This kind of mimics that look back there. So reflectors down there, signal lights, backup lights as well in there. Just a sharp looking modern design. Let's take a look in the back seat because nobody shows you the back seats of subcompact cars. All right, one of my most favorite things to do. I've got the seat where I'm comfortable out front here. So I could move it forward, but this is comfortable. This is real world test. First of all, you saw it's fairly easy to get into this car and I have enough legroom. My knees are still a little bit clear of this seat, even with it further back than I needed, but where I'm comfortable. So again, real world results, what do we got? You've got a lot of space for feet. So I got size 11 feet. I could wear boots underneath here and way bigger shoes because the seat is raised in the front, which gives me a lot of foot room there. So although it looks like it may be kind of tight, and it is, let's face it, it's still, some, it's still a subcompact car. It's plenty of room for me to fit in here. And the other thing is the rear seat is also raised up. So so my legs are on the seat. If I had to go to Toronto and back in, this, in the back of this car, I'm going to be perfectly comfortable. Back here, you've got a USB port. You've got a pocket here, bottle holders in the door, and again, plenty of headroom. Like I can fit just about a fist of space between my head and the ceiling. So again, if you're looking at a subcompact car, you're probably not taking people in the back all that often. But if you do have to take adults, they're totally comfortable in this car. Great for a short trip, great for a, you know, evening out kind of thing. If you're going across the country, let me talk to you about the Kia Forte or something a little bigger, but certainly to fit uh, four adults comfortably, five adults legally, you can do that in this car. Let's take a look at the front seat of this car where all the features are. All right, the front seat of a subcompact car. Now there was a time where this was kind of punishment. You bought these small cars simply because that's all you could afford and you didn't want to buy a used car. Now what you're buying is a whole bunch of features, but not crazy features. So you're not getting this, you know, surround view cameras. You're not getting all those things. You park this car easily because it's easy to see out of. It's got a short rear end. You can see exactly where your rear wiper is. You know that's where the back of the car is. You still got a backup camera in here, but you're comfortable. And that's the big thing. These cars used to be uncomfortable. They would cheap out on them. They'd have cheap seats. They'd have cheap feeling everything. So let's talk about that. First of all, you've got fully comfortable seats here. If you are a shorter person or a taller person, you can bring these seats down. You can bring these seats up. You still have a steering wheel that is uh, telescopic so you can get that comfortable wherever you want it. Uh, higher trim levels also have a, or sorry, this is tilt. Higher trims also have a telescopic steering wheel, wheel as well. So again, we're talking base level entry level car here. Base level entry level car with an automatic transmission. I mentioned that transmission. It's really fantastic. Let's look at a few other features. We mentioned the screen up here for your backup camera. Not only is it a backup camera, you have AM, FM, and satellite radio. So when you do drive across the country, and again, if you're in the front seat of this car, you can drive across the country. But when you do that, you've got satellite radio, which works all across North America. You never have to change the station. Works really well. And when you buy a car from us, you get three free months of satellite radio. AM, FM, of course, no problem. And like I mentioned, the backup camera, which is nice and clear. Down here, simple, easy to use climate control. So dials that work, easy to understand, easy to work. Below that, you have a really cool system. You have a tray on the bottom in front of your gear shift, which I'll show you a picture of right here. And then there's a tray on top where you can set your cell phone. We all carry cell phones with us now. Now you've got a space to put your cell phone where you're not throwing your coins and your junk and everything else on top of your cell phone. It's a nice sort of private spot just for your cell phone. Works really well. Further down, right by the gear shift, heated seats and a heated steering wheel. Now, a lot of our cars have heated seats. A lot of cars have heated steering wheels. You may not expect it in the Rio, but you 
get them here and not only do you get them they work really really well this seat gets really hot hotter than some of our other cars same thing with the steering wheel heat gets very very warm so you're comfortable a day like today where i'm wearing a winter jacket for the first time to do one of these videos first time this year uh it's really comfortable i love having the heated steering wheel um, once you have that you just get used to it you've got a touchscreen stereo system here so you don't want to have to wear gloves when you're driving it keeps two hands on the wheel in the cold weather trust me the other thing about the wheel we talked about some of those cheap plastics and cheap feeling things that other comp other cars do in this class some of our competitors do this is a leather wrap wheel so it feels really nice it's got a nice sort of a aluminum feel uh, even though this is probably plastic it just looks really sharp looks good and the feel in your hands is nice and there's soft touch things everywhere the doors are uh, you know everything's nice soft touch you've got an armrest here which is a soft touch and the armrest moves forward so if you're a taller person like me your arms are back here but if you want to have your hand on the wheel and your arm on the armrest you can move that armrest forward there sort of a leather wrap uh, feel to the um, gear shift here as well nice sort of aluminum look it is plastic but it's an aluminum look uh, trim across there across the dash it looks really sharp sunglasses holder up top of course and it pops down nice and soft feel so what you touch and what you feel in this car is really good are there hard plastics in it yeah there are and the, they're in places where you're not going to touch as much so that doesn't matter you still get the value in this car by you know the feel and touch automatic headlights standard so if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to have to turn on your headlights when it gets dark or if you've seen those people driving along and they forget to turn their headlights on don't worry about that in this car automatic headlights are there for you intermittent wipers cruise control uh, bluetooth of course is standard in the car you've got all your bluetooth controls and your audio controls right here on the steering wheel so steering wheel controls everything's great easy to reach power windows power locks all the stuff you'd expect so a base car heated seats heated steering wheel a really really good transmission basically if you don't care about a transmission you just need to know it drives better now it's smooth it drives like a luxury car in some ways so uh all we're saying is if you're considering something economical put this on your test drive list so you may have heard that things like Ford, they're canceling their cars, so no more Ford Fiesta to compete with this. You may have heard that GM is canceling their, a lot of their smaller cars, so they may not have a competitor. Chrysler, the 500, or uh, Fiat 500, no longer again. So a lot of people are jumping out of this class, which means the Rio is a great bargain because it still makes sense to make small cars. You don't need to pay the premium of an SUV. Sometimes you don't need the height of that. You just want a small, simple car with efficiency, but you want something new with great warranty, great safety ratings. That's why this car is there. Now, why should you buy from us? Well, right now we are a Platinum Prestige dealer. That means we are a top 3% Kia dealer in the world. We're the reigning, Kia, uh, reigning dealer of the year in Canada and we want to earn your business so if you're anywhere in the greater toronto area we make these videos to serve you so we can teach you about the car and we can hopefully earn your business so if you've watched this video to the end thank you very much i'd love it if you uh, gave us a comment you could give us a like that'd be great but more importantly give us a call 509-304-6542 you can click the link in the description that'll take you right to our sales team that's probably the easiest way to reach out to us uh, we'll text you back and forth we'll email you we'll call you we'll set up an appointment so you can drive this car and try it out for yourself thanks everybody for watching